Internet, I am just walking out of Inside Out 2. This is my non-spoiler first reaction to the film, and I have to say that it is pretty spectacular. It lives up to the 92% Rotten Tomatoes it's sitting at now, as well as the potential first $100 million box office in 11 months. It has been a long time since we've had a movie opening this strong, and I think it's because it is truly an all-ages, all-demo kind of film, and that is harder and harder to do. Now, this movie, personally, for me, isn't quite up to the first one standard uh, as far as, like, pure imagination, and I honestly think that's because it's the second one. You're following a story, but it does so much expanding on that. Like, I wouldn't start with this one, you know what I mean? I, I think it expands these ideas like good sequels do. I love that the new characters are able to make the narrative so much more interesting. Like, what the first movie does for core memories and what the first movie does with showing emotion and how important it is to feel emotions, this one does by expanding those emotions into personality traits and the long game of what shapes and makes you. And not to give anything away, non-spoiler, first reaction. I love the idea that as a person develops, they need all of it. And just like the first movie showed how they need those emotions, this movie shows how you need all of your memories, good and bad, and all of you is what makes up who you are, and I think that is so important for all ages. I mean, kids definitely should learn it as early as possible, but I think adults need to remember it too. And like a good Pixar film, the emotion has humor, but the emotion also pulls at the heartstrings for everyone. Visually, it's a feast that definitely will keep kids entertained, and it's stunning for adults that understand the scope of what they're seeing. The new characters, especially like having these new characters as somewhat antagonistic, but not antagonists in a way that feels short-sighted, like they're all justified in their emotions. I love how anxiety is handled. There's these entire anxiety concepts of projecting that is used genius. There's also sarcasm used geniusly. The play on words and the punnery of this film is just as amazing as the first, and I really honestly think it's as good as it is important, and I think kids need to know it's okay to be themselves, and I think adults need something to point to to show kids how to be themselves. So Inside Out 2 absolutely worked for me. Highly recommend it. Oh, and if you're wondering, there is a post credit scene, and I have to say my favorite character is a PS1-themed character. And another little note that I absolutely loved is how emotions relate to each other, which emotions identify with each other. I really love the evolution of anger, but I really, really appreciate that the new characters um, kind of tie into the characters we've had before in a way that feels like it's a sequel going deeper, not just bigger. So, man, it's, it's again, 92% feels warranted, I would definitely see this in a the theater because the spectacle and the detail and the animation and the scope, it evolves the animation from the first while building on the idea of these core memories. It's great. And it's a, it's a true all ages, all family, everyone can see it movie. Support awesome movies in theaters. Go see it. Also, all the YouTube stuff. Follow, like, subscribe. I got a lot of movie news coming. I got a lot of comic news coming. I got a lot of movie and comic reviews coming. Follow this page. Please. Thanks.